Thanks very much for joining us for this session on uh, how businesses can uh, work their way out of lockdown and uh, use technology to, um, to make that an, an easier transition. So my name is Matt Ball. And I'm John Stoddart, and we're both from Excelsis. So in this webinar, we're discussing the future of work over the next 12 months or so, and how uh, the response to lockdown might change how businesses are working across the board. Uh, John, what are your what are your thoughts on that and, and where technology sits in that in that world? Yeah, we, we really think that technology um, can help organizations over the next few months to to cope with the HR challenges everybody is going to face. So obviously you've been working from home, John, so have I, uh, so has half the country or more. Uh, so we're all familiar with that and it's clearly not going to change. I, I for one welcome that um, for a number of different reasons and I think working from home is a, is a, is a great thing to transition to, but um, uh, what, uh, what are your thoughts on, on how technology plays a part and uh, how, how companies can take advantage of that? Yeah, I think uh, technology, uh, technology partners and sort of system integrators, you know, have a really, uh, have a really, are, are gonna be key players in the transformation uh, going forward. And clearly that, you know, we're part of the way down that already. There's been massive transformation already. The question is, uh, what are this technology? You know, we've all started using Zoom and, and teleconferencing. What other technology is going to make a big difference in the long term? So, uh, I guess technology is often something that we look at as the IT functions consideration. And I know that's changing with, with uh, move everything towards SaaS and, uh, and, and taking software as a service um uh in, in, a, in a more flexible way um but in the next few months my observation would be that a, a typical hr manager hr director is going to be really needing to look after the mental health and general well-being of their workforce so people have been stressed out with their working from home situation the job insecurity and the overall impact on the economy uh homeschooling of children which i've been involved with and a number of other aspects of workplace anxiety so how is technology going to help uh, an hr function fix very human problems yeah well uh, tech i i think people will use technology to free up the time of the scarce resource which is the hr uh the hr professionals so stuff that they did sort of on a paper-based system or on a, uh, by email, things like booking holidays, the routine tasks, they can all be automated so that they work better from irrespective of the location. Um, and automating all these tasks means that you free up time for HR professionals to do the sort of one-to-one -one counseling um, and, and strategic work that's going to have to be done to, to get us out of this sort of lockdown and get the economy moving again. Understood. Okay, very good. So, so there, are, there are three areas that we wanted to highlight today that you wanted to talk about in particular. Yeah. Uh, we've got shift planning and, and how those shifts are managed day-to-day uh, -day by different individuals in the organization. Um, holiday allocation, which is obviously one of my favorite considerations, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. And then finally, policies and compliance and, uh, uh, and, and looking at changes in that area. So those are the three areas. If we, if we jump onto the first of those, um, what aspects of shift planning do you think are going to change and why are they going to change and uh, how, how, does, how does technology address those, those kinds of issues? Yeah, sure. Um... Well, from the from the sort of employee standpoint, um, where they work is is going to continue to be flexible for for some period to come. There's going to be working from home. There's going to be working from an office, which is being encouraged more and more, uh, and working from other kind of locations, depots, etc. Uh, and these changes. Uh, this this location change can happen very quickly 
Um, look at what's been recently happening in Leicester with with a lockdown. So suddenly overnight, people had to work from home completely again. So mm. so we're we're not over COVID, and you've got to be able to cope with with sudden changes in in shift planning requirements. Yeah, and uh, and what does that look like for a manager, for example? So uh, uh, so how, how how can I in real terms suddenly shift my entire team from office one day to home the next and, and and vice versa well having having good tools really helps so being able to uh uh being able to sort of drag and drop technology to change shifts to then communicate that really quickly and easily out to apps on mobile phones it means that changes can be can be quickly com quickly and accurately communicated to everybody i mean nobody nobody likes everybody likes a bit of predictability but in the situation we're in then everybody's going to have to be a bit more flexible uh, but they need to have confidence that the information they're getting is going to reach them on time and uh, and be accurate for example, one of our customers is in the retail sector. On a Sunday night, they had to tell all their staff not to go and open their stores the following morning. Mm -hmm. uh, they did that via the Excelsis app, and it worked really well. Very good. Okay, thanks, John. That is all clear. Uh, so if we move on to um, my uh, the, the topic that is closest to my heart, which is uh, holidays, um, obviously, shifts and holidays are uh, inextricably linked because uh, it, 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 and it's going to be a fairly significant change in in terms of uh, there's a whole backlog of holidays people have not been wanting to take them because they've just been working and trying to manage the um, the uncertainties so how are we going to manage this clash of um, uptick in activity uptick in a want to take holidays and and, and all of those things uh, associated with uh, with leave yeah um well yeah you're you're exactly right there it's the summertime people have just coming out of the back end of quite a, a stressful and constrained um period few months so they're naturally going to want to take some holidays but you there are only a limited number of months left in the year and quite a lot of holidays for everybody to take yeah. combine that with organizations who are seeing an uptick in demand for services they're going to have to make sure they've got enough people available to manage the amount of work that they've got at any particular time so there's tension there uh what i on top so managing holidays and a manager being able to see who is quickly see who's already booked stuff off, who's asking for holidays at specific times, having it, have, being able to do this in, a, in an efficient and convenient way, sort of using email, that's all really good. And it allows managers to go back and communicate with people and, and get people away on holiday at the, when, if they can, but also get other people um, to be at work because there's work there for them to do indeed and uh, what what about uh, what about the inevitable scenario that some of the workforce has uh, um has got holiday and they're not able to take it uh, in, in this year because uh, uh, because of that demand you described yeah sort of in my experience you know companies did allow you to carry forward a small amount of holiday each year you know a few days. Um, I think there's going to be people carrying forward significant number, many more days of holiday than than just your odd than just your odd handful, um, and they're going to want employees are going to want to see a place where they can accurately know how many days they've got so that next year they can plan to 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 take an extra week here and there and run those holidays down because 
because of what's happened, everybody actually needs holidays um, to be uh, to to contribute efficiently. It's good yeah. for their health. Yeah, restore some sanity, as you say. So uh, very good. Um, so talking of sanity um, and compliance, I don't know whether those two things go hand in hand or not, but uh, uh, compliance and regulations and the management of policies is obviously an essential, but but sometimes somewhat dry topic. Um, what, what do you think about compliance and its place uh, in in the coming months? And uh, uh, is it more important, less important? What are your views on that? Uh, you're right. It is a bit of a dry topic, uh, and it's probably not one that um, that many people think about. The issue is is that many policies and health and safety and such like have all changed in dramatic terms over the last few months. So something that you might have read in your handbook when you first joined a company, they're all being updated and probably updated for a second or third time um, to take account of change of working practices. Working from home has an impact on IT security. So there are all sorts of policies. So companies need to do two things. They need to communicate these changes and know who's read and accepted them. So you've got this, make sure everybody's up to date with how we operate now. You've also got the, got the difficulty of getting employees compliance trained because you can't do the sort of classroom training as easily as you used to be able to do. We've got a really good relationship with a learning management system called Quintil. It integrates right into the Excelsis platform and that allows individuals to do all the sorts of compliance training that they need online to be tested and the results from their tests flow straight through back into Excelsis, into their record, so HR managers can know on a minute-by-minute -minute basis what the organization's posture is and completeness is for compulsory compliance training. It's a, it gives them great visibility. Very good. Okay. And then you mentioned one final thing about deferrals to salaries, benefits, that kind of thing. So, uh, uh, what are your what are your thoughts on that, and where does technology live in that in that world? In that world, yeah. I, I mean, salaries is it, it, it's a it's a very tricky subject. Salaries. It's very personal, and over lockdown, you know, people have been on furlough. Some people have taken salary deferrals. Mm -hmm. um, and so you need somewhere where people can verify what their salary is at any particular time. Uh, this is important, you know, for for morale, but also it's it's really important because if individuals think that they are being paid the wrong amount, then that is a very quick way to to, for legal challenges and other uh, and unions to become involved, it is a very it's a very tricky topic that that can be solved really well by by employing technology. Yeah, definitely one to get ahead of, so that because uh, that's that's where uh, a huge amount of time and uh, stress and and heartache for everybody can be. Uh, yeah, can be yeah, yeah. Today. yeah. Understood, and uh, thanks very much for that, John. So, if we move on to um, uh, uh, to, to wrapping up now, I guess um, just wanted to say thanks first of all, John, for your thoughts on uh, what things are going to look like as we as we work our way out of lockdown and and, and what that might uh, entail for HR professionals. What are the next steps? So, so what what things can uh, can people look to do following on from this session? Yeah, well, we've got some we've got some really good partners, both sort of technology partners but also HR experts. So if anybody needs, needs some help about easing their way out of lockdown, then they can get in touch and we can introduce them to, to people that can help them. I think that's, 
you know that's a that's a really important thing to say first of all and then from a from a more sort of salesy side that if anybody wants to see a, a one-to-one -one demo of Excelsis, then we can arrange that too. Uh, and lastly, if anybody out there is interested in becoming an Excelsis partner, then all my details are down on the slide here, phone number, email address, or you can just jump on our landing page and leave a message there. Very good, okay. Thanks very much, John. Thanks for your thoughts on uh, on, on the future of uh, the world of work as we uh, as we enter this new phase. And uh, um, very much appreciated. And uh, thanks all for watching. Bye bye. Yeah, for now. Thanks, Paul. Bye now.